Ah, working from home. For some, it was meant to be. Whether that's enjoying an early morning stroll, watching the sunrise, or sipping on percolated coffee sourced from the Jamaican mountains, or participating in a lunchtime yoga session to break up a busy day. For others though, it looks a little more like this. Working from home is different for everyone, which is exactly why we've reached out to our crew members to see what their home offices look like and some of their tips and tricks for thriving or surviving in this remote environment. Let's see what they've got to say. Oh, hi everyone. Hugh Roberts here. Hi all, it's Ved Alejandro from the Incentra Project Management Team. Hi everybody, this is Neil Huffman. I'm a solution architect. Office space is the workstation slash dining table. Um, also have my colleague in the background there. That's Hannibal, my Siamese fighting fish. As you can see, my office is actually just a converted bedroom in my home. I do have some artwork here from my kids that puts a smile on my face. For the past few weeks, I've uh, been working with and alongside my five-year-old daughter at the dining room table. Um, this is her workspace over here with some dollies and, and pens and books and so forth. And obviously the very important pink telephone. The one end I have my work end, which is my remote work and music end. And then the building split into a second half which is my workshop come hybrid homeschooling end. For someone that has always gone into the office and seldomly worked from home over the nine years that I've worked here, this has been a big, big adjustment for me. Regardless of having to work from home, the cool, cool thing is we're, we're always constantly connected through Teams. It gives us the perfect opportunity to kind of walk around, take conference calls from anywhere we want. I've been able to put my feet up and respond to emails when I want to. I haven't had to queue at the coffee machine in the kitchen. I've always got someone who will always pay attention and listen to me. Right, pup? This is always the best part of it all. One of the, uh, the tips and tricks for um, getting on and getting through this type of engagement is just to embrace it and have fun with it. Uh, celebrate the, the time spent with uh, family and friends in and alongside work. When you're working with a global team, make sure you're connecting with them regularly. My biggest tips are at this stage, working outside, changing positions, making sure you're in a nice, comfortable environment. We've also been kept well entertained and very happy working remote. So we've celebrated Easter through the virtual Easter egg challenge, which was loads of fun. We participated in happy hour virtual drinks every Friday. Lots of dress ups there as well, of course. Um, we've had trivia, we've done virtual yoga. We've also currently running our ISOFIT challenge, which I'm participating in to get fit and happy before we return to the office eventually. Make sure you enjoy your work environment wherever you can, make the most of your home space, keep healthy, drink plenty of water. To get engaged, stay positive. Support your peers to allow them to do what they do best. Celebrate, inspire. Listen, communicate, and thank you, team. But having fun, getting through it, and wishing you all very well. Cheers, bye for now.